purple finbot here. OMG. I'm in B Swamp Simulator. What's up? Oh my gosh. So, I'm an OG B Swarm Simulator player. As you can see, I got the porcelain dipper. I got the whatever this is called with the kitty cat tail on the back. <laughs> I got the boots, I got the belt, I got this bee hat, but I'm still nub, like super nub. <laughs> so I just started playing again, and Bee Swarm Simulator is way different, you guys. There's like dancing ant bees that you talk to. There's so much stuff. Like it's not just the black bear anymore. There's like tons of bears. Right now we're doing the Christmas event. Um, yeah, I know, Christmas is over. But Bee Swarm gives you tons of time to do it, which is one of the things I really love about Bee Swarm Simulator. Ah! It's present time! Let me grab my stuff. Let me grab my stuff. Let me grab my stuff. Okay. <laughs> uh, I couldn't miss out. Look at all those yummy treats I just got. So yeah, but anyways, Onet's really awesome about letting us have tons of time to do the Christmas event. Lord knows I need it. Oh! What's up with this? MLG in the house. All right, so I'm super bad at Beast Worm Simulator. I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm not that great. Um, I've just started playing it again, so I'm trying to get better. This poor little bee cracks me up. Where is he at? He is like the most <laughs> busted looking bee I've ever seen in my life. This little furry guy right here. So, um, I... Woo! A honey storm! Hang on, folks. We gotta go get some honey tokens. OMG! I'm running around like crazy. <laughs> I am trying. I want all the honey. Give me all of it. Give me all of it. All of it now. No, my haste is running out. Stop. No, I must get more. Oh, wah. I'm so slow now. Oh, I love honey. All right, so basically, since I'm new again to the Bee Swarm Simulator, I thought I would share some tips and tricks with how I make so much honey so fast. As you can see, I have 695 million honey, which ain't nothing in this game. If you don't, if you play this game, that's nothing. You need like billions and trillions of honey to do anything in this game. So. These are some of the ways that I particularly do to make lots of honey in this game. Look at this, my bees. Oh my God, did you see little Rudolph bee? Look at him, he's so cute. I got his little antlers for puppy bee and now he's a Rudolph puppy. He's so cute. All right, so first thing I do is um, you want to do the bosses. The bosses are definitely huge in this game. You're gonna fly right over chair and you're gonna drop down in this little cubby and you're gonna find Tunnel Bear. I'm pretty sure that Tunnel Bear is uh, not ready for me to, oh, 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 there we go. Not ready for me, yeah. So I have five minutes and 54 seconds? Or is that five hours? I mean, it looks like five hours. I don't know. But anyways, so Tunnel Bee is a great way you get like, Definitely a million honey every time you beat Tunnel Bear. And um, you're going to get a lot of yummy things as well. Sometimes you can even get eggs, which is um, a really dope drop. Um, but he's on my, first on my list. So Tunnel Bear is a great boss to fight. Then you're going to make your way over here to the blue flower field. Come on, bees. We got a mission. Here you're going to run up this little path. And you're gonna go in here and you're gonna find King Beetle. King Beetle is somebody that I would not, um, he's super, I mean, he's super easy now. He used to be kind of hard for me, <laughs> but um, I just basically walk around him. Let me get my vicious bee to kill him. There we go. I just basically walk around him. If you don't have a parachute, it's kind of hard to, to beat King Beetle because what you do is, he will start to like shimmy and then stop and as soon as he does that you're just gonna parachute out of his way and let him jump and then uh, yeah and let your bees do all the work so as you can see where did um king beetle i got two million in honey from king beetle so he's a really really good boss i got an ant pass blue extract blueberries five tickets a neon berry like i got a ton of stuff so King Beetle is one of my favorite things to be, and his time clock is not as crazy as, um, it's only 20 minutes. 
Tunnel Bear is way worse. So, you know, it's something that you can beat over and over again, especially if you're playing in the server. I will say, if you're gonna do Tunnel Bear, you need to have at least, I would say three to four Rage Bees, a Gifted Bee, a gift, a gifted Rage Bee would be ideal. And level seven, level eight, ideal. If you don't have that, it's gonna be super hard for you to beat Tunnel Bear. The other dope boss that I like to fight is Mondo Chick. It's actually gonna be here in about one minute and 16 seconds. He drops so much loot. It's like a ton, ton, ton of honey tokens. You get so much stuff from Mondo Chick. So it's definitely something that I like to uh, do on a daily. Um, and then you can see there's a great timer over here that tells you when he's gonna be spawning and when he's not gonna be spawning. It's Mondo Chick time! What's up, Mondo Chick? He's this giant crazy chick that just goes around sporadically and um, he's uh, got tons of health. Look at all that. 285,000 HP. So he takes a minute to defeat, especially if you don't have OPBs, but he's well worth it. He will give you so much loot. And uh, that's what we're here for. So um, basically you don't wanna ever, ever, ever get hit by Mondo cause he will knock you out dead. And if you die, you know you lose all the honey in your bag, so you don't wanna do that. And your bees have to rest, so you don't wanna do that. So just stay out of his way. That's that's all I can say. Just stay out of Mondo's way. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna try to kill Mondo so that way you guys can see um, what kind of loot he drops. All right, so Mondo is about to die. I finally got this bad boy down to um, low HP. I almost died, I actually did die once. Here we go, so Mondo Chick is a... <laughs> He is dumping all his goodies. Look at all this, this is insane. Treats, honey tokens. There's all blueberries, <laughs> glitter. I don't even know what all I'm getting. I'm in a public server, so of course, everybody always waits until you kill Mondo Chick and then they come up here. <laughs> I need as many treats as I can possibly get. All right, I'll let whoever that is have the rest. Take it all there, buddy, take it all. So Mondo Chick is one of the dope bosses that you wanna kill if you're trying to get lots and lots of honey and uh, loot in the game, for sure. Another great way to get a ton of honey is the ant challenges. The ant challenges are something that you can do for free. You just have to get an ant pass, which is free every two hours, I believe. You just go in, you try to get as far as you can. The higher the round, the more stuff you will get, the more honey you will get, and the more treats you will get, and perks, because the amulet comes with tons and tons and tons of perks. So this is one of the best ways in the game to get tons of extras plus great amounts of honey. So I highly suggest doing ant challenges. So I only got gold this time. I have a diamond bee, but as you can see, like 1.4 million in honey. I got three of whatever those things are. And I got eight royal jellies just for playing. So I'm gonna keep my old amulet because it's clearly better. So keep the old. And uh, now I'm up to 714 million. Hello. I'm getting reach. All right, so I'm gonna go cash in my Royal Rumble. Let's see what Panda has to say. I've been trying to complete this quest for like, for real, for real, for like three days. I'm not even playing, y'all. Esther huge in this game. I don't even feel like talking to him. Let's see. So I got five million honey, three royal jellies, 10 tickets, an ant pass, and I got a story. Woohoo! I'm excited. So those are the ways that I make honey in this game. That's how I super fast level up my honey. So other than that, the best other way to do it is to talk to these bears. The bears is always gonna give you tons of honey. I got three million honey just from that. And somebody dropped some Christmas gifts while we're here. I'm gonna pick all those up. Look at all this free loot. Like, come on. Christmas is the best. 
Another great way to get tons and tons of honey and yummy goody snacks is the, the Bee Swarm Simulator Wikipedia page. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is the Bee Swarm Simulator Wikipedia page. It has tons of information. This is what I'm on daily. You've got bee information, items, bears, mobs, everything, but most of all, you've got codes. So the codes are super important. You don't just want to run through here and just enter in all the codes and then go. They have specific things that they give you and you want to pay attention to that. So if you're going to go mine a coconut field, you're going to want to enter in this Mosquito 100T code because you're going to get a coconut field boost times two, which is crazy. Coconut field capacity times two. You get stingers, you get gumdrops, you get coconuts, and you get inspire. So all of these things, they you have to use them at for a specific thing. Like don't just click in here and get all these codes. Like some of these are just tickets and just gumdrops. Those are fine. Get them all you want. Get them all you want. But the ones with field boosts, make sure you utilize them properly. Because if you don't, you're just wasting these boosts. Like wasting them. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it. That's all I've got for you today. I hope that that helps you on your quest to uh, to playing, I was gonna say Bubblegum Simulator. I hope that helps you on your quest to become OP in Bee Swarm Simulator because Lord knows you gotta grind a lot in this game. It is definitely a <laughs> grind until you die kind of game. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash the like button. Turn on all the notifications so you know when I upload videos. It's a little sporadic right now, but I'm trying to get back to it, folks. And if you have any comments on ways to to um, level up and find things in Beast Worm Simulator, please leave a comment. I love this game, and I'm back to playing it, and I need all the tips and tricks I can get. All right, everybody, I guess that's it. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.